The death of Shankela Robinson may have easily slipped between the cracks. In the first two weeks following the North Carolina woman's death during a group trip to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, her narrative was limited to a handful of local news authorities. It looked that her death would receive minimal, if any, notice from the news media, similar to that of many other black women and girls. Then, a video of a lady being beaten surfaced, and word of her death went viral. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at terrifying footage revealing new victim similar to Shanquella Robinson. Yeah, you heard it right. The tweet, Rest in Power Shanquella Robinson, by North Carolina blogger Mina Lowe, has received more than 50,000 likes and nearly 17,000 retweets. Since then, CNN and the New York Times have picked up Robinson's tale, showcasing the strength and promise of black media platforms. In the absence of mainstream media, black people online have been a driving force in raising stories of missing and murdered black women and girls, from the death of Lauren Smith Fields last year to that of Robinson last month. High rates of intimate relationship violence, sexual assault, and homicide affect black women and girls. However, their cases are rarely given priority. Due to not just her family's campaigning, but also the black-owned blogs and social media accounts that recirculated the video and new information, Robinson's case garnered a disproportionate amount of media coverage. Dr. Meredith Clark, an associate professor of journalism and communication studies at Northeastern University who studies black Twitter and black resistance online, stated, We've relied on the connections that we have in black communities for centuries to spread the word about issues that are important to us. It validates something we often say, we're all we've got. And here's an illustration of what that means in the context of the news media. She said, From Ida B. Wells' investigations of lynchings in the South to the black press's role in uncovering the truth about the murder of Emmett Till, black media outlets have historically been essential sources of information about violence against black people. Especially when mainstream media outlets have ignored their stories due to systemic racism and bias. Nicole Carr, a journalist at ProPublica and lecturer at Morehouse College who teaches a social justice journalism course, stated, That is where we could deliver our messages. In recent years, particularly over the past decade, social media has become a popular instrument for obtaining and disseminating information on social and racial justice. It is where the Black Lives Matter hashtag was created in 2013 and where activists, scholars, and others have utilized hashtags and other messages to rapidly broadcast information to the broader public. In matters of social justice, particularly as they pertain to our community, we give the essential leads for mainstream sources to pay attention through these platforms, state a car. She said that social media might serve as a springboard for journalist reporting, journalists might witness a claim on social media, and decide to submit a public records request to determine its veracity. I'm not comparing Twitter users to the entire black press, Carr stated. I'm simply suggesting that we've always found locations to magnify vital messages and spread the word, even in so-called mainstream spaces. Additionally, particular aspects of Robinson's case stood out, heightening public outrage and awareness. The footage and conflicting versions of her death attracted more attention to her case. Many social media users have questioned how a woman could travel with people who appear to be her friends and yet die violently less than 24 hours later. These individuals who travel with Robinson returned to the United States and informed Robinson's parents that she died from alcohol poisoning. However, their accounts contradicted the details on her death certificate, which was posted online on November 16th. The autopsy report identifies a severed spinal cord and neck injuries as the causes of death for Robinson. No mention of alcohol poisoning was made. On the same day, Twitter users rapidly spread a video depicting a naked woman being severely attacked by another woman. Robinson's mother has confirmed in several media reports that the naked woman is her daughter. A man can be heard in the background of the video asking Shanquella, can you at least fight back? Following the broadcast of the video, Mexican authorities said that they were investigating Robinson's killing as a femicide, the murder of a woman on the basis of her gender. The FBI confirmed its involvement in the matter on November 18th. In Mexico, an arrest warrant has been issued for one individual in connection with Robinson's death. Carr stated that black Twitter was key for amplifying the clear evidence of foul play. Without the distribution of the video, Robinson's tale may have been lost in a sea of other unfolding news around the country, according to media and criminal legal experts who spoke to the 19th. Humans have a tendency to enter narratives through the dominating image, typically a photograph, but also videos, according to Dr. Danielle Slackoff, an assistant professor of criminal justice at Sacramento State University, who studies media portrayals of women crime victims. The video of her being attacked drew a lot of attention as a very, very apparent indication that something was wrong. 
Throughout the years, video has been one of the most important instruments for helping people comprehend a crisis as it unfolds. Clark said, using the roughly 9 minute video of the assassination of George Floyd in May 2020 as an example. In addition to the video, she stated that there is a relatability factor. Numerous individuals have been on group vacations or girl trips. The violence that resulted in Robinson's death is an unexpected turn of events. Robinson's mother told NBC News that she attributes the attention given to her daughter's case to black social media. Research indicates that such extensive coverage is uncommon for women of color, particularly black women and girls who are frequently ignored. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.